everybody out there in the wine world, this is Bill Elsie, the sommelier for wines.com, and today I am joined by my co-host, Jessica Farley. Jessica, how are you? Hey, Bill. Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Uh, so today, uh, let's talk about one of my favorite white wines that are out there. Uh, these are the Sauvignon Blancs that are coming from the Loire Valley in France. So we have uh, two classic representations of the grape variety from the Loire, uh, Sancerre and uh, Pouille Fumé. Uh, one thing to kind of keep in mind when you're trying to, uh, you know, geographically uh, get your bearings in the in the world of wine, uh, the Loire Valley is a is a long river uh, system that runs pretty much from the central part of France all the way out um, to the Atlantic in northwest France. So it covers a lot of ground. Um, Sancerre and Pouilly Fumé come from the central vineyards. So this is more of a northern continental climate um, that is influenced by the Loire River, and so it mitigates the climate to an extent. But these wines are typically um, high in acid, high in mineral, um, and just very fresh in style, being that they come from that northerly cool area. So um, let's give these a whirl. Awesome. All right. Let's so do, do you have uh, much experience with Sancerre? Do you like Sancerre? I do. I really drink like, uh, I really like Sancerre in particular. Uh, Puy Fumé, I really appreciate, but don't drink this often, as I like to um, indulge in the Sancerre. Right. Uh, it's just a really nice, smooth, balanced wine. Um, I love Sauvignon Blanc, so um, it really actually throws, shows through with a little bit more floral characteristics, um, a little more subtle than some of your New Zealand New World right. in-your-face lemon citrus wines. Yeah, and I think that's what um, really put New Zealand wines, um, you know, Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc on the map when they first really hit the scene back in the, the mid-80s was it was Sauvignon Blanc with the speaker dial cranked up. Mm -hmm. It was just really expressive, super in your face, and I think that style still maintains today. You get this huge grapefruit flavors or, and aromas, uh, ruby red grapefruit. A lot of those green characteristics um, mm -hmm. come through where you get like that cilantro and jalapeno. Sancerre offers that. It's toned down a little bit, and I think the minerality's toned up, and I love minerality in wine. So this is the uh, Domaine Paul Thomas that we have here poured. Um, this is the 2011 uh, Sancerre. So Sancerre is a wine that you can consume fresh. Um, young vintage like this is going to have great acid. It'll um, also age for you know some, some time as well, especially your more kind of uh, entry-level Sancerre. Four, five years, something along those lines, it'll still um, hold out for. So let's give the, uh, the Thomas... Sancerre World Hill and, and see what we uh, what we get. And now, how much did you pay for this bottle? Though? Um, this one you can find retail uh, for about twenty-five dollars. Um, you know, there's probably places that are out there that you can find it for uh, for even cheaper if they're doing some sort of a promo or, uh, or uh, discounts, things like that. Okay, so we're on the nose. <clears throat> this is a, really, I think, a, a balance of um, those green aromas where you get some of that. Uh, in this in a pleasant way the gooseberry uh, mm -hmm. some of that um, maybe a little bit of asparagus bell pepper it's a pyrazine type of characteristic mm -hmm. that I like to describe but also um, a lot of that grapefruit lemon those type of, of characteristics what about for you absolutely I think I, I totally agree with all the the green character characteristics I get a little bit of um, fresh cut grass oh yeah, yeah so. absolutely absolutely yeah definitely some of that that cut grass and a lot of the, you know the soil profile here is a lot of just very um, densely driven white minerality. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, limestone, the uh, Kimmeridian, uh, the Tufo, a lot of those different types of soil. So you get a, a lot of um, concentrated mineral on the nose. All right, let's see how this tastes. So, Sancerre, um, in the Loire Valley over the past couple of years has experienced a little bit of a, of a warmer mm -hmm. uh, climate um, than they, especially with 2009, um, making the wines a little bit more expressive, a little bit more full. 2011 wouldn't necessarily consider to be uh, warm like that. Mm -hmm. So I think this wine, while it does have some of those nice expressive um, citrus green herbal characteristics to it, I think it's a little bit more restrained. What are you getting on the I, I, I think so also, I think it's, um it's not overly, like you said, it's not overly um, fruity. I think it's very, uh, very balanced in a sense the minerality comes through, like you were talking about the soil, the limestone, um, but it's not quite too restrained. Um, it still has some full characteristics to it. Yeah, absolutely. Love the minerality, love the acid. Um, the, even on the second taste now, that uh, the pyrazine, that kind of green character um, is coming through. So if you have those type of flavors in a dish, um, you know, cilantro, 
um, if you're having a leafy green type of a salad, uh, something along those lines, like this would be a great pairing with that because you can, can help to um, you know, highlight some of those other vegetal type of flavors that are coming through, but not, it's not overly green. Absolutely. This is great for a, for a barbecue when you're just barbecuing, you know, chicken breast and putting together a nice summer salad, um, maybe a succotash, tomatoes, corn, again with a nice um, plain grilled chicken. It's really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, being that it's refreshing in nature, drink it outside, drink it on the porch, that type of deal.